Okay. Zhongli, you got some explanation to do. I'm still continuing because I don't know if this might be the end or at least try at least finish up Act Three. I think this might be the last. I'm not sure. Still Act Three, not finished. Usually I will end it there already. <laughs> Zhongli, wait. Anything I can do for you too? I'm afraid that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. We've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. Northland Doesn't Bank? the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. Yeah. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Liu? Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could only mean more trouble. True though. We had better go and make sure that everything is okay. Okay, something else is going here. Look for Zhongli at Northern Bank. Oh, it's up there. You call this cooperation between Harbingers. Oh. Cooperation involves communication, Signora. you know. Signora. Signora and child. And <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Oh, what's going on here? Hey, it's Zhang Li and Child. Signora. You. What's going on you're here? You're also one of the harbingers. <laughs> it's you two. Yeah. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. Uh, just stay calm first. Well, if it isn't you two. This is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit... awkward, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> Nothing personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse and them for Li? leading me on. What do you mean? Well, let me see what Zhang Li has to say. But Senora so and Zhang Li. What do you mean? Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. The Morax. Gnosis, please. Morax agreement. Yeah, okay. Now it's explained that Zhongli is Morax. Agreement, Gnosis. What in the world are you talking about? <sighs> the contract is fulfilled that which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee for my promise is solid as stone Fine one that's the gnosis so he is willing to give his gnosis <sighs> how sanctimonious yeah i see yeah i knew i kind of knew Yeah, that, that, why give? Is there something? I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract, for it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. It's a matter solely between Tsaritsa and. Okay, why did you feign your death? Yeah, you don't think you went a little bit too far with that whole thing? Yeah. Thing? Preparing all that. I was preparing the ceremony for you and splat! This big dragon falls out of the sky and all of Lyric goes into an uproar. Talk about 
Was that really just Zhongli's plan? To... <laughs> Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Perhaps it's best that I yeah. explain. Yeah, Zhongli, you got a lot to explain here. What's going on? As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. It is now 3,700 years ago that I founded Liyue together with the Adepti. Okay. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form and that the end of my time had not yet come. Until one drizzly day, as I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. Uh -huh. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, Have I already finished my duties? Oh, Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liyue Chising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liyue. You had another plan in case it all burned down. Were you satisfied with the finale? Indeed I was. What? The Gnosis which I had kept for so many years suddenly seemed to have lost its meaning. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. That's why Chelsea, Zhongli and Signora was uh, tricked. the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Leela back under control? Of course. And it would have been all too easy for him too. So he could have done, he could have just... Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liyu matured when faced with the death of its deity. In the end, the resolution to all that has transpired was even more satisfactory than I could have hoped for. Take the Adepti, for instance. Owing to their years of seclusion, they were the least informed. Mm -hmm. Yet when faced with a crisis, they commendably showed the greatest amount of restraint possible. Not only did they manage to cooperate with yeah, the Chisi, but in the end, they even That's made true. efforts to understand the hearts of the people. Credit is also due to Signora. Hmm? The emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. At my request, she kept everything she knew in strict confidence. This despite the eavesdropping ears of her colleague, Child. Huh? This meant I could remain as Zhongli, even having the chance to fulfill the age-old traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for joining me on this journey, Traveler. All of these things turned out as I had planned. There is only one plan? thing that I had not anticipated, and that was the conduct of the Liu Chising. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti, to come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liu as divine protectors, and used the subsequent power vacuum so left testing. by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liyue. We're just testing to see what will happen. Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! <laughs> On the contrary, I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey! What about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse yeah. for deceiving Child me? Yeah, was deceived You've too. practically kept me in the dark. I'm running out of battery. Hold up. So all this time, 
when Chow introduces to Zhong Li. He also didn't know. <laughs> That's why it got me confused or so. <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, a Depti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liyue, would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? We were both full. Yeah, we were both full. Be that as it may, you've come out of this as the hero of Liyue. I, on the other hand, will be forever prescribed as a disturber of the peace, no? But it was all... <sighs> <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. The Gnosis we should return was... to Zapoljarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Tsaritsa. Come, child. I have a feeling this Saritsa might be the last one we will see. Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the <laughs> likes of you. <laughs> Do as you wish. Now then, is there anything else you wish to ask me? What could possibly be worth a Gnosis? I'd like to know what the Cryo Archon offered you. Yeah, actually. Right! As Zhang Li always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a Gnosis. I assume this is the ending for... Like, like Venti, we asked something, right? So now we're asking Zhang Li something. But this is not what I expected. Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. Hmm? Huh? However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made countless contracts. If the deal was of no benefit, then I certainly would not be inclined okay. to agree to it. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. My contract to end all contracts. Contract to end all contracts? So you're saying this contract will end all your contracts as the Geo Archon? As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. So, Sony, you can just tell... For yourself, okay. Is that the end? It's not the end yet. What? I need to see what's going on after this. Let me leave the bank. I'm still like, wait. Paimon can't absorb yeah. so much information at once. So Zhang Li, what sort of contract did you sign with the Cryo Archon? Good thing I didn't leave. Paimon's so curious. One of the clauses of our contract was not to divulge any of its contents. Okay, so we can't we can't ask because it's in the contract clause. That was it? <laughs> you really are the god of contracts, huh? Okay, what the heck? Now what's gonna happen if we leave? I wanna end this video. I might split this into two. <laughs> I might split this into two. That was a lot to take in. Even though it's only an hour, I'll split this into two video. After the dust settles, some I didn't see. Today's the day of the rite of party. Hmm? Today's the, the star of the show is fake. We spent so much time trying to organize it. It would be a real shame not to go there now. Follow up to to Eugene Terrace. So. You know that god from the ocean couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been two thousand years since Rex Lapis subdued it. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis, too. Say, do you think the person who assassinated our lord and released that evil god might have been one and the same? Hmm. 
There was no assassination. Now that you mention it, that's very possible. Yes, it's very possible. Well, we know indeed. the truth. There was I mean, no. <laughs> it all fits together. That person must have colluded with the evil god to harm Rex Lapis. Oh, that wicked black hearted scoundrel. Still, what sort of supernatural prowess must this person possess to be able to do such things? I have never heard of such a person in all my years. Ah, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. Look. The Millilith over there looks like he's about to make an announcement. Let's hear what the Ministry of Civil Affairs has to say first. Right, no one else knows about this. Only Child, Signora, and Zhongli. Well, since we're going through with this rite of parting, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail on the head. So Rex Lapis is really... But they didn't catch the culprit, did they? Oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have been a normal person? You know what I think. I don't think any of the gossip on the streets you hear from those shady types is worth anything. There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. Youngish, pretty high in rank. <laughs> I think they called him child. Fatui? Hmm. They certainly are very suspicious. Who knows what those greedy, crooked folks... Wow. They really make Child the bad guy, and they're really gonna make us the hero. Shh! Lower your voice! If the Fatui catch you in their sights, Rex Lapis won't be around to protect you this time. Wow. Listen to the announcement. Hear ye all! The Chi Sing's words. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. So too must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Not murdered? Are they really gonna... Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyra to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Mm hmm. What does that mean then? Ah. Uh, um. Daimon needs a translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. They said that Rex Lapis died because of a divine trial. They said that Rex Lapis wasn't murdered. Okay. So that's how they're spinning it. That's but something that feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention how this excuse sounds like something they just made up on yeah, the spot. Yeah, I mean... Could the Chasing already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? But Zhang Li said that neither they nor the Adepti knew anything. Yeah. So what's going on there? Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his gnosis changed hands? Hmm, yeah, maybe, yeah. Possible. Exactly, right? Ooh, seems like so the Chi Sing already knows because Zhang Li told them. Maybe. Go to the side, to the right of party. Ning Guang is there. Gan Yu and Ke Ching as well. Look, it's Ning Guang and Ke Ching. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. 3,700 years of contracts burnt and reduced to ash. It's the ending, putting an end to contracts. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Hmm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we re-establish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. 
Does her eminence, the Yuhung, have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? Traveler. Yikes! She really is looking our way! Is that the Traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young! The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. Oh. You deserve that much. Whoa! Got a reward from this. Well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? The Traveler has a voice for this scene. He hasn't talked since the first... Uh, <laughs> he hasn't talked at all. He got, uh, he got a voice for this scene? Alright. Yeah, put some missing posters. Sure. <laughs> okay, talk to the people taking part in the ride. Alright, uh, talk to three people. Why you? Were you just trying to look cool earlier, or are you really that selfless? If you were looking for someone, you could have just told me that in private. <laughs> Roping you in was possibly the most masterful move we could have made. I believe that future generations will say so too when our deeds come up for their review. And Ganyu? Clean up of the premises, managing the crowds as they exit, making an account of the right. There's much that remains to be done. I didn't miss anything, did I? Okay. Look for Zhongli at the scene. Zhongli is here. Yeah, where we need to see him. Is this the end of the Li Wei story? I still have a lot of questions though. Three thousand seven hundred years. Right. If the two of you can spare the time, I should treat you to a meal at the Shinya kiosk. Okay. Ha! That sounds like big talk, Zhongli. Paima might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout, but you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Shinya kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? Hmm. <laughs> Did you bring the money, Zongli? <laughs> You're right. God damn it! Like Not right. again. Why would Morax like Mora? <laughs> As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, I should <laughs> abide by the same rules that mortals do. Okay. When I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in hand, Mm -hmm. I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon, so I had to rehearse a little rehearse. for my new life. Oh, no wonder! Paimon gets it now. You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. But since you weren't used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you I had see. to try becoming a parasite <laughs> to society <laughs> Good damn it. Well, we were only spending for Tui money. That's true, though. You don't have to say it like that. In the city of commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge, memories, and foresight, mm -hmm. as well as positions, roles, and lives. We use child's money, the Fatui money, and child gets <laughs> the, to be the villain. In this, the Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhong Li could. Okay. No matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank you for that. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhong Li, 
traveling the streets of Liyue with you. Okay, it was fine, Jenny. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue yeah. our search for the seven. Let's continue to the next one, I guess. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is it's presently closed. closed. Oh, so we can't go to the next one yet? Who's the god? I, I know already, but close? Yes, the nation has been closed by order of its deity. By the Raiden Shogun? The Electro Archon Ball. Oh, her name is Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. Okay. Rex Lapis, Raiden Shogun, right? Um, Paimon, yeah, we heard, heard it before. That one before. Uh, Ry Raiden. Raiden? Raiden? Okay, Raiden. That is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of Inazuma, people call her the Raiden Shogun. The Inazuma Shogunate, the Shogun. That said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Hmm? Visions? Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Okay. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tevat see it. Mm -hmm. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Vision Hunt Decree? They're hun hunting the visions? Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders. Oh. And to inlay them upon the hands of the statue of the omnipresent god. The statue of the arm. Okay, I guess it's a statue. Seize all visions. They want to seize visions. But why? Hmm. Aren't visions blessings from the gods? So, saying in Inazuma, no one is uh, allowed to have a vision? Is that what it is? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Whoa, that's harsh. Wow. The Animal Archon is the god of freedom, uh -huh. and the Geo Archon is the god of yes. contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. God of eternity, okay. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. Ooh. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven have now passed away <laughs> will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. Knowing her, she must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Okay, we get seven for you. ideals for seven gods. And of these, eternity is nearest unto the heavenly principles. All right then. Was there ah, anything so else Ah, so here's where we can ask. Yes, I would like to ask everything. First, about the trial. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Failing a divine trial. <laughs> How they came up with that excuse, I will never know. <sighs> that said, the reason why the Chi Sing were so yeah. eager to resolve the incident and stop pursuing the culprit was indeed because they received news in secret that Rex Lapis was not dead. When did the Chi Sing knew this? I hinted as much to the Adepti as well. The Adepti knew as well? How did I accomplish that, you ask? Hmm. Uh, have you ever heard of this particularly convenient Adepti art known as gifting dreams and visions? Mm. Alright then. Was there anything else you wish to know? Child. Yeah, about that. Before the Chi Sing made their announcement, we listened to a lot of people. 
people talking on the way? Yeah, everyone Most putting the blame put on the him. Blame for everything on child. These are indeed false accusations. But it remains undeniably true that child did send people to the Jade Chamber to prevent the Adepti and the Chi-Sing from defeating the ancient god. Okay. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign <laughs> relations front at the moment, browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. Ha! <sighs> Those poor Snezhnayan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, I'm certain that they would have shifted all the blame to him and called for his dismissal <laughs> by now. Hey, you push out. All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? For the Liyue Chi-Sing. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Chi-Sing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Kuching is absolutely right in saying this. Now, though I did laud Ningguang's desire for power, believing this to be a good thing, and thought as a matter of course that she must have been behind the Chi-Sing's plan to take governing power over Liyue from the hands of the gods and Adepti. Mm -hmm. Could the original person who brought up the idea of seizing power have been... Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right then. Who? What the heck? He's not really answering the question though. Ah, uh, okay. About Mora. Last... That's right. Zhang Li, now that you don't have your gnosis, what's going to happen to all the more into that? I don't think that because Venti, I think Venti can still he can't. Eh, I was thinking about it when the gnosis was taken. What happens? Since Morax is dead, are they all just gonna disappear? Also, isn't the Golden House the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even continue to work? The Mora present now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period okay. of time. Since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. Oh. Yeah, so Mora... The, the, the money Mora is requires... Okay. <laughs> this is terrible! <laughs> We're all about to run out of Mora! The world is coming to an end! we never seen... It's only creating Mora, have we? Yes. This is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. Uh, well, I suppose <laughs> we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Liyue Chi-Sing to debate. Then, did you at least set some private funds aside for yourself? Oh, a private fund. Hmm. This does seem like a good logical common sense idea. <sighs> it's a shame. What's a shame? It's a shame that I didn't think <laughs> it at the time. Hello. All right then. That's it. Was there anything else you wished to know? That was it. Oh man, Venti gave more information than Zhang Yi though. <laughs> okay, well... Yeah, that's nothing else. I think well, that's the end. Then. I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. Patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. What do you mean? Okay, that's the end. That's the end of chapter 1, act 3. Does this mean we're going to chapter 2? Dane, slave, talk to Catherine in Mondstadt. What? Okay, what is that? No our conquest. But there is this. Wait! Chapter 1, Act 4? Oh. Okay, but uh, Liyue's story finished, but uh, it's not Chapter 2 yet. Eh? There's an Act 4. Okay. And now I can do this. Because I finished that uh, new star approaches. Okay. This is that teapot thing, right? That I heard about. I don't know what this about, okay. But yeah, that's good enough. I didn't think it would go this long. Everyone is working super hard. We should Let me be see here. the event. Yeah, there we go. We can do this quest. And this is new. Fishing. Oh, you have to complete this one first. 
Okay, maybe I'll do this next. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know what this is. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Wow. Yeah, I'm splitting this into two. Until the battle, that will be one video. Meeting up with Zhongli and Chal will be another. That was too much in one video. <laughs> Okay, alright, so yeah, that's it for this video guys. Thank you guys for watching and Zhongli I don't know <laughs> About him. What the heck? I'm still I'm still with his It was his plan all along Yeah, I'm still mind blown <laughs> Yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time